So there's one area that's causing a little bit of confusion when working with Brizzy Page Builder is how do you actually get your themes navigation and footer to show up with Brizzy? Because by default, out of the box, it doesn't show either of those elements. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do exactly that. My name is Paul C and welcome to WP Tuts, where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon to be notified of our weekly new content as soon as it's added to the channel. Okay, so how do we get Brizzy to display inside our page structure and take advantage of the header and footer that our theme offers? Well, it's very, very easy. When you create a page in Brizzy, it by default uses the Brizzy template. Well, we can change that in one of two ways. So let's just say we're gonna use this simple uh, Brizzy test page. Let's just come into our normal page editor. And as you can see, we've got the edit with Brizzy and we've also got our theme settings available. So you can see if we take a look on the right hand side, we've got our page attributes. Now I'm using Ocean WP as the theme, but it should work with pretty much any of the themes that are out there that Brizzy will work with. You can see by default, it says Brizzy template. If we click and expand that, you should see additional template options in there. Now for me, I've got the default template, which is the default template is part of Ocean WP. So if I click on that and I click on update, once I jump into the Brizzy editor, we'll see all of my theme elements in there. So let's go in and edit with Brizzy. And you should find that once we load up, there's our page header. And if we scroll down to the bottom, there's the default footer that's part of my theme. Now, if you've already loaded this in and you didn't activate that particular template for your layout, you can do it from inside Brizzy itself. And it's very easy to do. If we come over to the left hand side, right the way down at the bottom where it says more and click on there, you can see it says page template. And if we click in there, you'll see all of the same settings and all the same options are available from within the normal page editor of WordPress. So if we wanted to, we could change it back to the Brizzy template. Give it a couple of seconds to load back in. And once we do that, you'll see that our header has now disappeared and the same goes for our footer. And if I come back in and simply click on there and change that back to the default template, again, a second or two while it loads back in and those elements are back in and allow us to work within that confines of that theme. And that's it. That's how easy it is. Nothing complex at all. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this video useful. If you did and you'd like to help support the channel, please consider using the affiliate links in the description below. It costs you no more money, but it gives a small percentage back to the channel and helps support what we do. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we add a new content to the channel. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or you'd just like to get involved in a conversation, please pop those in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of Brizzy. Let me know what you'd like to see covered in future videos for Brizzy and we'll take a look at creating those for you. Well, my name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts and until next time, take care.